Hello everybody, so Cal Thero here, welcome back to another episode of American Truck Simulator. It has been a long time since I've gotten back into American Truck Simulator. I've been wanting to get back into it. And honestly, SCS got me to uh, get off my ass basically and get back into it with the 100th anniversary of the Kenworth W900 here. Um, the paint job that it has as well as some of the trim. So we're going to go inside here and I'll move my head as best as I can. But look at those seats. Man, those are some sick looking seats. I love the red stitching in it. I love the 100 in it there. It's just very subtle details. Oh, there's Nos down there sitting in its, in its chair. But yeah, this is definitely... Oh yeah, and then the plating over there too. This is definitely one of my favorite versions of the W900. This paint job is amazing. Just, ah, everything just got my attention. I was like, I have got to get my game up and running again. Um... We're going to go ahead and fire it up. Actually, we'll fire it up from the outside so you guys can hear it here. There we go. We're going to hop in the cab here. So being that I've been away from American Truck Sim for quite a while, um, we're actually going to go ahead and pick up our load right here. Um, there is, of course... Right. Oh, thank you. Yeah, there are some things that are not uh to my liking yet but i mean those it's some of the stuff that i'm that is not to my liking i can live without like i'll show you for starters here i have my signal on and you hear no clicking sound so some sort of mod or something is blocking that which it is what it is it was fine i tried fixing it i ended up losing my entire engine sound and doing it taking out a uh, z mods uh, engine sound so i was like you know what we're just gonna live with engine sounds as opposed to turn signal clicking and apparently my steering wheel has decided to break itself too there we go no it's not whenever i tab out of the game it's like it loses everything it loses my steering wheel settings it just yeah it's been a while like i said so and it's definitely showing. Jeez. Okay. Well, this is one hell of a pickup. So I do have an XPO trailer. I just, I couldn't decide on what I wanted to d use for a trailer for this truck. So I ended up going this route instead. Let's see. Yeah, it's way over there. So we're going to try to turn around here and line up the trailer. Um, I have had this game uh updated for what well i shouldn't say i've had the game updated i've had the uh texas dlc for a while now i just haven't uh gotten back into the game i'm always skeptical on the initial release of a map because i'm sure it breaks mods so i try not to uh get too hyped up for a map of course that's kind of hard to do when scs announces map after map after map Man, this is going to be tough blindside in this end. I can't even see over there. Whoops. Uh, we're going off a of feel right now. It looks like I might have got... Nope, I hit the fence. Well, this is what they get for putting me way over here. Oh man, I am rusty. Whoops, 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 other way. Let's see, are we still clear? Yeah, we still got a little bit of space. So we are actually in, I think we're in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and, or it's Roswell. We're in Roswell, New Mexico. Shout out to the, uh, the space aliens there and we're gonna be heading into texas i don't remember where the drop off is in texas but we'll see here soon enough as long as i can uh line up this sh trailer properly jeez this is a lot harder than i remember
There we go. Okay, I think that... Yeah, finally. Jeez. All right, we're loading the cargo now. So we are going to be taking some <laughs> some nuts, these nuts, to Wichita Falls in Texas. Uh, we'll take a look at the map there. So there's our route right there. We're going to be heading out of Roswell on the 70. Going to hop on the 84, it looks like. That transitions to the 82. And then uh, the 277 finally. So this will be uh, pretty interesting to do here. Again, I've never been into Texas yet. This is the first time I've... Beginning route navigation. Oh, thank you, Google Maps sound. This is my first time going into Texas. I just... When the DLC came out, I put, whenever the state DLCs come out, I buy them right away. But like I said, I don't always play them right away. So that's the... Uh, that's the gist of that. So I've had it for a while. It's Take just... I haven't, there's just not enough time in the day to be able to play. Turn right. There's just so many games to play, so much work to do for GTA 5 cars in so little time that it's just hard to get some ATS in there every now and then and just sit back and relax. Remember when I had less, uh, yeah, let's reset my track IR there. Yeah, my head is moving freely around like this with uh, track IR. I have the uh, clip that attaches to a hat on the brim of your hat. That's the one I use. It comes with the track IR. At least mine did. Let's see, yep, I'm doing good there. So, uh, yeah, there is going to be. I'm not sure how this is going to sound, so that's why I'm kind of swerving the uh, or swaying my steering of it around a bit because it's my first time with it. Um, for those of you that have been around the channel for a while i'm not sure if you noticed it i'm pretty sure you did if you didn't then you watch my videos on mute because it's literally a night and day difference <laughs> but uh i haven't said anything and the only series that as of this recording still has my old stuff is the lspdfr stuff but um i have a new microphone set up for my uh my recording sessions and you probably have noticed it in videos in the past or you may have heard it and thought something was different but then I never brought it up so maybe you thought I changed my setup or maybe YouTube did something differently so I sound better but no I have um, gotten a new setup so I picked up a Go XLR which is amazing. I can't wait to get a chance to play around with it and mess with the uh, sound effects and all the different things you can do with it. As well as I've gotten the RE20? RE30 uh, microphone? I don't know why I'm spacing on that right now. I knew it a second ago and now my, my brain is blank. But I have that now as well. And a big thank you to Mr. Jeff Fabiano because he helped me with all setting it up along with some other stuff that I won't disclose. If he wants to, he can say it in the comments below. I know he watches my videos, but um, he helped me out a tremendous amount with getting my microphone dialed in with the way I sound and with his settings. And it just a big shout out to him because it helped out a lot with getting my uh, set up up and going and him taking the time to get it perfected is just beyond words grateful for that and the other thing so if he's watching thank you mr jeff faviano i really do appreciate it but yeah that is why my sound is probably changed and you may or may not have noticed it over time but when this video comes out, depending on when it comes out, I'm sure it'll come out while they're still coming out. But my last set of recordings for LSPDFR were back in November of 2022. So that's a lot of the old microphone, my old blue Yeti, which I have sitting right here next to me that I'm keep telling myself I need to list it for sale so I can make some space in my house here. But, um, yeah, you'll hear that sound there, and then eventually when I record LSPDFR again, you will uh, you will hear the new setup with it as well. Uh, speaking of LSPDFR, 
the video hasn't came out yet it'll be the last set of the recordings that i did but i make a mention in there at the very end about creating a els vehicle pack to use in my recordings and that by the time that that video is done in the next set of recordings i should have it done i just want to say right now if you're still watching this video and you're into lspdfr i unfortunately am a perfectionist with this pack right now and it has grown in size compared to what i wanted to do with it originally so the pack has been delayed i want to say delayed even though it's not i mean it's it's going to be delayed on release and use but it's not being delayed due to working on it i'm still working on it i'm i'm continuously actively working on it if i'm having to record i'll stop like i am right now to record and then i'll go back to working on it but it's nothing to do with not wanting to do it oh we got a train coming we gotta slow it down here whoops and i mapped it instead of engine braked it there wanted to hear my jake brake we'll stop right here got some sort of train coming oh that sounds so good here comes the train A little Union Pacific coming through. Oh, I forgot. And then you see the reflection off my hood. I forgot how much I miss this game. It is, uh, it is always fun to play. And it's always relaxing, too. It's just real chill. Just laid back. Just driving through. Driving around. Oh, I see you. I see you, Mr. State Trooper, hiding over there. Trying to catch people just speeding into town. So yeah, going back to the microphone setup though, I forgot to mention, I never recorded ATS with it. I noticed that the Continue straight. the software that I use to record my audio separate from the games, it was picking up sound when I wasn't speaking. So I'm not sure how much of the steering wheel the mic picks up. I use a older Logitech G27, so it is kind of noisy, so I can see why the uh, microphone's picking up the sound from it, so I'm hoping the audio quality is good, even with that going on. Let's see. How far away are we? About 5 hours and 50 minutes. We're expected to get in at 9.08 p.m. Okay. That's cool. Um, I wanted to see, I think Colvis is, yeah, that's still discovered as I hit the shoulder, literally. I was trying to see if we made it into Texas yet, and maybe I talked too much and didn't notice it with the signs, but it looks like it hasn't yet. But yeah, going back to LSPDFR, I am making, if you're not a member of my Discord, it's in the link in every single one of my video's descriptions. It's free to join. You're welcome to join. Um, I just ask that you obey by the rules there. Another thing though too is there is a bot that's on there and if you're in like a discord that's known to leak assets for vehicle models or uh, communities that are private, it will red flag you and it will ban and kick you out. So if you try to join and you get banned, I, I'm i sorry you're banned but you need to clear it up with that bot owner before you can... Uh, be able to join the discord again so just fyi i get that question all the time people say i tried to join and i got banned it well the reason you got banned is you were in a discord you weren't supposed to be in or you probably shouldn't be in but you're in it anyways and typically when people reach out and they tell me that and they ask they reach out to the bot owner and they can get a resolution from them and then they're able to join afterwards the ones that really do care the ones that are just i could tell they were in the discord they intentionally want to be in that discord that's leaking the assets and stealing things from other developers because they won't take the time to reach out and say anything and be like hey i got kicked out why can't i join so when i see that i'm like okay this person knows what they're doing and we don't need those kind of people in the community we got over there. Forgot you can roll down the windows, huh? Yeah. 
It has been a while, like I said. It's like rediscovering this game all over again, and I'm loving it. Actually, you know what? Man, this light's taking forever. Sorry, right, I had a niche on my leg there. We'll roll down the window here as we take off so we can hear this lovely sound. Turn right. Of course, they're not going, so now I'm lagging. There we go. down the other window for you guys too. Give you guys a little bit of that turbo going on there too, that turbo diesel. Ha, it sounds so good. That is just so, oh, I saw Texas X amount of miles. That is one of the things that SCS, and I'm sure they'll address it someday, is kind of missing the mark in this game. It's just the uh, engine sounds. They have done, the, I, thinking back, this game, I believe I could be wrong on the year, originally came out, I want to say in 2016. It is now 2023. And this game has come such a long way since it originally came out. It is unbelievable. And this guy's really slowing down for the uh, cop up ahead here. I can see. Don't give me a ticket. Oh, that was a. Never mind. Oh, don't. Oh, people are scaring the hell out of me. I thought that guy was turning left in the truck. We're doing a little bit of speed in here, so I'm going to get over so I'm not so obvious with it. Make sure that guy gets plenty of room. There you go. We start cranking it up again. What is this? Don't drive lit. I, hmm. Yeah, I probably shouldn't. Be like drunk driving. This is all new. This is all road I haven't explored yet. So I don't know if we're in Texas or if this is just a new road to me. Looking around, I want to say this is Texas based on the vegetation and how it looks, but don't hold me to it. I've only been to Texas once in my life and it was just passing through driving my grandmother's stuff back home from Illinois to California. And if I remember right, cause we had to go through like the center of Texas. I want to say, yeah, or like the upper half. It was a boring drive. It was nothing, but tell it was nothing. <laughs> there was just nothing where we were. There was four of us sitting in a three person U-Haul truck, just crammed together just like uh please get us out of here get us home a couple chargers up ahead here maybe they're racing so i'm doing about 70 speed limit 75 and they're kind of put my foot into it a little bit more yeah they're really starting to pick it up here That's cool to see. Those are some nice looking silos. Nice farm over there. That is pretty cool. Oh, there's a police officer. I don't know where that was for. That was Texas or New Mexico still. Oh, I'm hitting the shoulder again. Lubbock discovered the Lone Star State. There you go. That confirmed it. We crossed over at some point. I missed the sign, but 
we are officially in Texas and this is again my first time being in Texas and it's about how I expected it to look it's so far anyways it's pretty cool oh oh light is changing let's jake it Woo. nice little gas station over there I hear a train again oh it is it's over there they got the bells going but see a train anywhere oh now they're coming down luckily we're going straight sucks for the mustang he's got to wait there it's probably not the best place to wait it's actually not the best place for a train crossing like right there by the intersection yee easily gets stuck on the tracks or in the intersection not paying attention the train must be coming up behind us too those just went down too and then yeah those haven't came down yet so it's behind us somewhere and of course i gotta make a left so mustang i'm slowing down so you can get ahead of me i'm gonna cut this guy off sorry about that dude here hit you with some flasher sorry had to get over, I gotta make a left. Hmm. There's the train. Going off to the left there, I was trying to see where it was going. County EMS. Oh, look at that, it's got the Texas Oh, that is cool. I like that look with the Texas star on it. That is pretty cool. It's a cool looking livery on that ambulance. Then turn left. Turn left. All right, we'll wait for my turn to turn left. a few people over there whose turn is it to go they're stopped right there oh it's mine now keep left oh, we're gonna get left there don't worry just making the turn so we don't hit anything here we go on the highway is looking pretty open that's good get on right here and get out of the exit only lane uh mod wise I, like i said i have um just the sound mods in i do have most of my mods from steam from the steam workshop in that i still have like with the modded trucks and some of the modded sounds and like the different rain and whatnot which i hope it man it's a little cloudy i hope it doesn't rain because i don't remember which button is key to the wiper blades it should be default which i think is p so hopefully that's it it does rain you're not a firework don't drive lit okay i did read that right oh that's a quirky little saying but guess what I'll probably remember it because of how quirky it is Let's see I'm trying to think of some other new stuff on the channel too oh well yeah there was the sound and then this video is going out way after I planned on first releasing them but if you're a fan of OCRP, you may or may not have seen that I have started releasing content RPing in OCRP, which has been a lot of fun. Um, unfortunately, one of the videos that I did want to, that I ended up recording did get lost. 
In fact, he got lost twice, which was just a sign that I wasn't going to be able to release it or that I shouldn't. But it was the uh, recent OC War P that we had. Um, I did get a video out of that where I didn't fight in the war, but the actual video where I fought in the war was lost. And unfortunately, I couldn't recover it. I stayed up for a good four or five hours just working on trying to recover the video file, but it was gone and it is what it is. I'll try to get it on the next one we do or the next uh, community event that I attend, but either way, it's been a lot of fun being in server and uh, getting to role play and not just make cars for the server, which I do plan on doing here still. There's still more to be made for the OCRP. Um, both in the LEO and the Civ side of things. For the LEO side of things, I, I've i heard a few people that know about it already, but I was under the impression it was trying to be kept under wraps, so I won't go over it too much, but I'm definitely going to be... After I finish my LSPDFR pack, I'm going to be working on that. And then after that... Um, I'll go back to doing some Civ cars again, but maybe not as aggressively as I did with the uh, last set. Uh, for context, the last set of Civ cars that I did, which I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen with your favorite content creators um, using, is 149 vehicles. No, oh, and I don't have the stats up. And I started it in march of 2022 man this guy's really poking here but yeah i started it in march of 2022 and i work at an everyday job i work 8 to 4 30 monday through friday so like can't do much when i'm at work but any other time that i wasn't at work i was working on those civ cars because there was a lot of them there was 149 cars it was a total of 5555 uh files between the car models the texture model for it and the mod uh files for each mod and it was like something ridiculous like five or six hundred thousand lines of code that i wrote i didn't write all of it but i wrote most of it and then there was a lot of copy and paste and whatnot but um yeah i did all that and i finished it on december 26 of 2022 it literally took me about 10 months to do and it was man it, when i got done with the last car and it was working it was just a big weight off my shoulders and to give context nobody asked me to do it nobody forced me to do it nobody requested me to do it i did it all on my own because i wanted to make the r civ cars even better and i wanted them to be easier to use so I went back and redid everything. There was not a single Civ car that was already on the server that I made that didn't get any changes done to it. Everything got uh, some sort of change to it. Whether it was the coding, whether it was the mods themselves to clean it up to make it easier. But there was a ton of stuff that went into those uh, vehicles. Uh, it's starting to get dark. Let me make sure. All right, that's my lights. Had my high beams on. Let me make sure my lights are on. Do a little bit of eight challenge. Yep, they're on. Okay, just making sure they're on. I kept seeing the high beam indicator, so I was throwing me off there a bit. But yeah, there wasn't a single Civ car that didn't get touched. There was a ton of updates done to them. And there's gonna be obviously things I overlook that I miss, I oversee, and those will be addressed and hot fixes slash updates will come out. In fact, I have one already pretty much good to go. There's just one last thing I wanna do with uh, my buddy Stopple with the vehicle sounds because we're gonna go through and tweak some of them so that they uh, sound a little more like their real life counterpart. Speaking of sound, this Camaro is sounding pretty throaty up here ahead of us very muscle car like out of that Camaro which I guess makes sense 
But yeah, that that first update should address everything that's been brought up for uh, brought up to me about uh, things that people have seen. So that should be pretty good. And the next Civ update, or the Civ car update, I should say, not Civ update, because there's always updates coming out for the server. Um, will be a mix of exotic like high dollar cars which i hope i don't see a bunch of them in sandy shores because like you wouldn't see a ferrari f430 driving down sandy shores i'm sorry it's just not something you would see maybe once in a great while but there's gonna be some other stuff added as well there'll be some like modern day stuff like some if you can believe it if you're in the community you already know there's a ton of trucks in the uh vehicle pack i just did recently but there's gonna be some more modern trucks added again and then there's gonna be a lot of nice um older muscle cars added too and maybe some just even not muscle but classic cars that are, i'm gonna try to get working and added as well and of course like the others they will have mod support so there'll be plenty of things you can do with them to change them up and uh, do different things with them i think a uh, a lot of people are underestimating how many mods and different things you can do to each car and the not so limitations that they have to them like i rp'd the other night which i don't know if that video will come out first or if this one will this one probably will but i could be wrong but um <laughs> i basically bought one of my characters his name is mick yeager for those of you that don't know he's basically like a older guy that lives on a farm that he always claims he fought in the big war which he never tells you which war is the big war <laughs> he just says the big war and uh he bought his first vehicle uh in the last video that i did which was a ford f-150 pickup truck like a 90 early 90s pickup truck maybe even uh early 80s maybe i i want to say it was the early 80s one but uh i had it customized where it's pretty much just the cab <laughs> and not much else and the radiator and the fenders and the uh, radiator support just so it wasn't like uh how's it staying cool if there's no radiator there <laughs> but um yeah i drove around with that and i could tell some of the civs were just like um i didn't know you could do that <laughs> so you guys are ocrp members you definitely if you see a car that you like you should check out all the different mods that it has to offer and uh oh man hit like a dip or something in the road but um you should check out the mods that it has to offer because there's each one has their own unique set of mods that can be used use the right lane why is he then stop right. there is there like is there something there Woo. see how we're doing on time here 57 miles an hour and two minutes okay Continue. make sure nobody's coming it's getting a bit later at night and it's a lot darker so i'm able to uh move around a little bit more freely with less traffic I have a uh, okay I'll, yep I'll turn left I have no uh, traffic mod in right now I just uh, we're gonna run this sign because I'm from California and that's what we do we're notorious for there you go I don't have any traffic mods or anything in, so again, that's maybe why the streets look a little bit desolate, but to be fair, it kind of mimics that of like later on at night, it's less traffic and it's a little bit uh, less stress with driving. I'm getting over, dude, I'm getting over. It's happening. Yeah, it happened. Have fun with that. God, that gets, the realism is really there with people like that. Just running up on you and not giving you any space to get on the highway 
I understand I'm trying to get I'm trying to go with the flow of traffic I'm supposed to go with the flow of traffic but you do see on my truck the least you could do is move over so just jamming it up man look at those tail lights those look so good man I keep I keep forgetting how good this game looks this each like during the day at night I can't wait till it rains because I remember how much I enjoyed driving in the rain how calm and relaxing it is I'm one of those people and we've been lucky in California this year because it's been raining a lot I'm one of those kind of people that love the rain and enjoy it so whenever it's raining out I'm just like ah takes me to my happy place <laughs> Let's see we're 18 miles out it looks like it's right off this highway so not too far now the only thing that's gonna suck is that it's dark these are probably new prefabs for uh drop-offs like their new layouts and whatnot our most valuable resource 663 feet ahead oh that's a cool little slogan showing that you care about your drivers but uh yeah being this late at night and being this i'm in a new area and i'm sure there's new prefabs it's really gonna suck trying to back a trailer in and i have mine defaulted to uh go to it's where do you want it's uh, at the hardest setting okay i'll take the exit on the right but i have it set up to take the exit on the right yep i'm taking it this doesn't look like it. Oh yeah, it is it. Okay, it just runs off far. Oh, that's cool. Nice little like Use the right lane. parking lot Enter and truck right. stop area. But yeah, I have it set up to the hardest setting. I have to yield, there's nobody there. So we're gonna just keep going as we nail the curve there. Turn left. That does kind of suck not ha having the turn signals, but it is what it is. I like hearing that engine over the turn signal. Use the left lane, then turn left. Turn left. All right, turning left. So bossy, jeez. Turn left. I did turn left. Oh, you want me to continue turning left? Okay. Oh, there we go. We're dropping off right, right there. Nailed the curb a little bit. Okay, well we got a a dock here to drop off on, so it's not too bad. And I don't have to blindside it, so that's actually pretty good too. Let's go ahead and roll down our window. And then I don't know, it should be enabled, but let's see. Nope, it's not working. Okay, I'm gonna have to go through and work on that. Let's, uh, let's see. Oh, I can't hear the parking brake either. Okay, well, there's something else I get to find out. All right, we're going to blindside, or not blindside, we're going to back this in. Needed a little more space to work with. Oh, there's a car over there. Actually, yeah, we need to set this up a little bit better. as much space as we can because there are employees parked over here there we go we'll let the trailer turn itself all right trailer is still turning itself don't want to hit these people's cars There we go. Okay, now I gotta follow the trailer. Well, luckily nobody's parked in front of this, so I use the parking lot a little bit. 
Uh oh, as somebody's pulling in. Oh, that's pathetic. You could tell I'm out of practice here. Let's get this better. the dock truck is angled though I'm gonna be a little bit of per perfectionist just because oh my goodness I hit the gas not the brake <laughs> bump the dock again there we go all right let's go ahead and set the brake Kill our lights, kill the truck, get out and take a look. Like a couple employees pulling in. That is a pretty good uh, drop off if I do say so myself. All right, I delivered some nuts <laughs> to Wichita Falls in uh, Texas. So we drove 434 miles. We made Initially 14,124 in funds. We got an additional almost 6,000 for proficiency, another additional almost 1,400 for our distance uh, bonus. And we ended up with 29 or 21,291. So overall, not too bad. But uh, I definitely need to get some more practice in and some refreshers because it has been a while, <laughs> apparently. But uh, anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of American Truck Simulator. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought. And until next time, take care.